The opposition of Georgian opposition. You will not get away with this kind of violence against a peaceful rally, Teona Jaridze from Opposition Party New Georgia wrote on Facebook on Monday. Jaridze shared photos of two young activists injured after they and others were attacked by a pro-government group in Tcheta City. Critics have called groups that had confronted opposition protests with counter-rallies Titushki, comparing them to violent gangs the Ukrainian President Yanukovych used against the opposition during Euromaidan. Yanukovych used exactly the same methods against peaceful youth. This is the end of Ivanishvili, anti-government activist Alexandre Milorava wrote on his Facebook page. You are disgraceful and you are criminals, economist and government critic David Nebieridze reacted to the news about injured activists. Gabede movement that led the protest in Tcheta on Monday said police had even detained their other members who were attacked by a mob. Gabede later wrote on social media that those who had assaulted them were employees of Tcheta City Hall, mobilized by the government. Here's how the police let assaulters reach us. Opposition activist Tamar Agabadze captioned the video she published online. The footage showed Georgian Dream Youth Wing unimpededly bypassing police to approach anti-government activists at a rally in Tbilisi on December 3rd. While pro-government groups unleashed violence against the opposition for several days, anonymous Facebook pages continued the information war targeting protest leaders. They portrayed young anti-government activists as pro-Russian, LGBT agitators or acting on instructions of third Georgian president Mikhail Saakashvili. They are regular aggressive activists of Misha's, one troll Facebook page wrote on Monday. But some Georgians questioned if the effort to connect protesting youth with Saakashvili would prove effective. The youth that rallied today were 10, 12 years old back when the United National Movement was in power, Kutaisi Democracy School coordinator Temur Trasheishvili tweeted last week. Journalists in Najara claim government pressure. On Wednesday, journalists of the public broadcaster in Najara protested against pressure and blackmail from their new director, Georgi Kohreidze. Suspicions about indirect pressure from Georgian Dream-led local and central governments grew after ruling party members criticized Najara TV for their editorial policy. The rally by journalists in Batumi on Wednesday was met with an outpouring of support online. Media scholar and government critic Nino Danilia expressed her solidarity to them through Facebook, describing media workers as fighters for the public good. Don't give up and fight as long as you can, Danelia encouraged Ajara TV and radio journalists. We work for the public, not for the director, Ajara TV anchor claimed on air on December 4th. Not everyone was convinced they deserved solidarity. Following the rally, an anti-liberal commentator Irakli Antize wrote extensively against the current Ajara TV news group on his Facebook page. He called them controlled by sodomite and bastard liberists. Antadze also lambasted Ajara's political leadership for for letting a publicly funded TV company be ruled by liberals. Ajara TV is my voice in society. For me, Ajara TV is currently the most objective reporter on current problems in the country. This is a voice for every minority, wrote civil activist Hurie Abashidze on Thursday.